What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And if you've been here for a while, you'll know that Milwaukee's Fuel Gen 3 impact driver is one of the most powerful impact drivers. It's literally changing the definition of what impact drivers can do as tools. Unbelievably powerful, unbelievably compact, but it's got a huge flaw. And the worst problem is this flaw might not only cost you a whole bunch of money, but worst case scenario, somebody could be very injured. You've been messaging me, direct messaging me, and one person in general messaged me a solution to the problem. We're gonna try to fix this, cause I'm tired of waiting. It's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Here's the issue, in case this is your first time here and you're unaware. These tools, one is a one key variant, the other is just standard Gen 3. Both of them exhibit a problem with their collet. The problem is it will not retain its bit in some situations. After impacting, especially when impacting, the ball bearing inside this collet gets stuck and the bit lets loose. Now, it exhibits the problem mostly when we're drilling blind holes in wood. We've had that problem, but I will say this, there has been plenty of occasion when I've been working overhead after fastening into harder material like concrete with Tapcons, I've brought my impact driver down and the bit has let go. Luckily, there was no one below me. You don't know as you're working that bit can come flying out, hit someone, or damage something below, potentially cause increased insurance premiums. And worst case scenario, I feel terrible if someone was literally injured, you lose an eye. I mean, a, a, a knock on the head. Maybe they had their hard hat off for a second. You don't know. That's why they're called accidents. But if we can prevent that from happening, I'd like to do so. We had reached out to Milwaukee Tool and they let us know that they're working on fixing the problem. That was about two years ago, we made them aware. And at first, they were didn't seem too concerned. They felt that it was a, a very rare case use until we had Milwaukee Tool here to our office in Camden. And the product manager went to install her magnetic guide and her, her bit came right out. And at that moment, I said, see, I told you it's not specific to a case scenario. It could happen at any time. They told us that they would start to work on solving the issue and we trust them that they are working on a more permanent solution. Although it's probably been another year and we have no official word on the collet. But you keep asking us and we could only keep reaching out so many times the answer is they're still working on it. I, I don't know exactly what they're working on, but here's the deal. Brandon Nava sent me a written tutorial and some pictures of how he fixed his Gen 3 impact driver. And I looked it over and I said, you know what? Maybe I should give this a shot. The first thing we need to do is remove our little retaining clip or ring, okay? All right, we snapped off our retaining ring, our washer, and our first spring. We're then gonna pop off our collet. And what we're gonna see here is our secondary spring and our ball bearing. Where this spring contacts the ball bearing here, it then goes on to ride up in this area. Okay, you seeing that? Now, when your collet's on and your secondary, secondary spring is in place and it all pushes down, that means that the collet itself, this collar, is pushing down on this spring in this area and it's causing that ball bearing to come loose. Where the spring goes into the anvil and contacts the ball bearing, we're gonna bend that up, and then this tail end of the spring, we're gonna bend that down. We wanna remove 
this spring, according to the instructions, and not lose the ball bearing. We're going to pry it out and up and over. Brandon probably is going to be correct, and this solution is going to work. This curve, we're going to bend this up. And then this tailpiece, we're going to bend that down. We don't want to give it too much. Just enough. I mean, it is spring steel. It's going to spring back. You don't bend too much. You don't want to break it. Now, this U is bent up. Now, what we got to do is, because this is now up in the air, this will still contact that cow. It's going to push down that U. We need to bend this back down as well. I, I got to tell you, I almost feel like you could, you could probably cut that off, maybe. I don't think so but maybe. But we're gonna now get our needle nose pliers, put it over the U, and then we're gonna bend down this portion of the spring. Our U is up, our tail is down. Eh, I think that, that might have it. Let's put it back together and give it a shot, okay? Now you can see that U is facing up, it's holding onto that ball but we don't have to worry about this portion of the spring contacting the collet. Let's put, let's put that back on and you'll see that it's down in place. It's down in place. Let's see about retention. I will say that there's definitely more resistance when trying to pop the bit in. Let's pull it up a hair. Okay, our bit popped out. I want to take a look at it. And you'll see. It looks as though that might have it. Let's put our collet back on. Be very careful not to lose, because this is under pressure, not to lose your washer and your C clip, because they could go flying, they're under pressure. Use your screwdriver to help you get it back in place. Boom, snap back in place. Okay, so we're all assembled. I will tell you, we have some good retention. All right, and I will say, it definitely has taken a little bit more force now that we've modified that spring compared to our standard Gen 3. You'll see, look, all I did was actuate this one and it's not even, it's not even holding at all. The, what we'd have to do in the past is tap the collet to get the ball bearing to, to reseat to get it to work again. This one seems like we bent it and it worked. Let's potentially make the repair to this one as well while we're in here. We're gonna use our screwdrivers we're gonna pry apart our C-clip, our retaining clip, okay? Hold tension on there because your washer and your spring are gonna come popping out. We're gonna pop out the first spring. We're gonna pull off our collar. What we're gonna to do to modify it is we're gonna bend up this U, the U where it makes contact with the ball. And we're gonna bend down this tail end of the spring, bend the U up. Your mileage may vary. You can make this repair at your own risk. If you snap your spring, you lose your ball bearing. I warn you, don't attempt this at home. Send your tool in for factory warranty work. Don't do as I'm doing, do as I say. Bend this part of the spring down. And you'll see that our U is now pointed up. This is pointed somewhat more down so that it doesn't contact the collet as much. And this U part will hold the ball bearing in. So let's reinstall that now. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Our collar is now sitting down. Let's see if it will retain and quick insert. It actually worked. You see our U's holding that ball up. Where before it wouldn't even hold, hold the bit at all, it's, it's now working. But we know what you all came here for. You want to see it run in blind, blind, a blind hole, wouldn't you? Because that's where it seems to fail the most. We're going to start out with the one key version. 
I want to throw a paddle bit on there, spaddle bit on there that has no chatter from from a chuck. Okay, so a fresh spaddle bit. You'll see it inserts, no problem. Let's drill our hole. Let me hit a piece of metal. Hold on. What happened there? Let's try it again. I will say, I'm satisfied though that it held so far. All right, let's do it again. Well, everybody know this is an inch and three eighths paddle bit, spaddle bit, self-feeding, daredevil. These are very aggressive. Well, that didn't seem to work. This is the standard Gen 3. Let's just see if it can get the bit out after its repair. Doesn't seem to, but let's try again. Here's the deal. Brandon, we appreciate you sending us over the information. Maybe I didn't make the repair correct. Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you can make a video where you're actually simulating these tests after your repair and it's working for you, we'd love to see it. Milwaukee, I love your tools. I love your line. You make a lot of good stuff. Fix your collet. I shouldn't have to make repairs on tools that are under a warranty. Just shouldn't. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. A little let down. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.